I was just about, I just started talking and I realized I was not being recording. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rahma and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing how I've lost 15 kg, which is about 30 pounds. And the steps that I've taken, things that have been helping me and talk more about this process. I thought it would be nice for us. Well, I had this video has been requested quite a bit and I thought it'd be nice to kind of discuss the process. Without further ado, let's get into the video. But with some little bit of ado, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of ado because 65% of you are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and leave a comment because I would really appreciate like feedback, any questions, anything you wanna know, anything that you liked about this video or other videos. Also follow me on my socials. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. I wanna leave the most important thing for last so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to know what basically helped me the most so <laughs> disclaimer i'm not a dietitian i'm not a doctor i'm not a nutritionist okay none of the above i'm just i'm just myself take everything i say with a pinch of salt because these are things that have helped me and benefited me they might help you and they might benefit you but they might not but i'm i've i really do feel like these things will, will help and the first thing is um incorporating more fruit and vegetables into my diet um honestly i don't realize how much of a difference it would make in my mood my energy levels my skin as well um i feel like when i'm eating better my skin kind of glows it's free skincare who doesn't want free skincare plus a lot of the time fruits and veggies are pretty inex um pretty affordable but actually it's not gonna lie some fruit is kind of ex anyway but in terms of like in compared to eating compared to eating out a lot of the time cooking at home is a lot more affordable so works better and moving on to the second point um okay really <laughs> So the second one and the most important one and it took me a while to realize because a lot of people they tell you like oh like when you're eating like you can eat whatever you want like you know you can eat like <laughs> ten you can eat like cake like you can eat chocolate you can eat biscuits you can eat crisps and yes i do eat all of the above and yes you can eat whatever you want but you have to have a reasonable amount and you have to have balance it's like i was really hearing you guys have to hear what I'm telling you, okay? Because when people don't, when people say, oh yeah, you can eat whatever you want, my brain just goes, all right, I can eat whatever I want. You can have whatever you want. No, you have to have discipline. Discipline is so important because there are times when I'm like, I don't deprive myself. If I really want something, I'm going to have it because if you deprive yourself, you're going to want something 10 times more. But there's times where I'm like, hmm. I kind of want that but then at the same time if I have like um, like a healthy meal I'll be satisfied I'll be content I'll no longer want this and also when you um, treat yourself like treat your girl treat yourself whenever you want whatever you like whenever you need but like then it feels more like a treat as opposed to like eating chocolate crisps a bag of crisps and ice cream every single day which is kind of what I was doing you don't need to dramatically cut everything out like I eat snacks several times a week I enjoy what I enjoy but just not every day not every hour not every minute okay just please hear what I'm telling you it's not every day in my opinion if it works for you and something isn't within your calorie deficit works for you but that is something that basically worked for me um having alternate like alternative options like having a snack a bowl of fruit um things like that i can also share like the kind of foods that i like to eat and things like that because i like to eat i'm a foodie and also i like to go out to eat so a rule that i made for myself is if i'm going out to eat if i'm going out with friends if i'm going out by myself on a solo day or like going somewhere nice i'm not gonna say hmm what are the healthy options i'm gonna eat whatever the hell i want but majority of the time i do choose healthy options but for me that's the way it stays like kind of fun because if i'm going out obviously I'm, i don't go out every single day um <laughs> um and i'm kind of like a homebody so it kind of works for me so yeah that's another thing so i could do, let me know do, should i do what i eat in a day or cooking with you because I, I love to cook cooking is like one of my favorite hobbies which i kind of want to share more of because I love trying new recipes, new food, which is another thing that like 
it makes it more fun sweet potato zucchini like chicken like a little prawn dish like it does not bought like when you can really kind of get into it it's so much fun <laughs> a little bit of fun okay it's a relative really relative that's another thing limit takeaway i love delivery it beats all of the above okay and when i'm craving don't let your you lead your cravings and be disciplined and don't let your cravings lead you okay because before i started actually losing weight i'm someone like i crave something i just have it straight away i don't think hmm, rahma what are your goals like is it kind of like healthy like is it kind of like i kind of like have an internal dialogue i don't deprive myself if i really want something i i will have that take out i will have that but then also sometimes it's like hmm, but yeah you can also have like a healthy alternative because also like these things kind of affect your mood having like a burger and chips is great i love burger and chips which i still do have all the time if you guys watch my channel not every single day because it makes you sluggish it makes you sleepy it affects your mood when i eat better um i don't know if it's just me which it's not just me it's science you will have more energy <laughs> anyway um you'll have more energy to live life live live you will have more energy to live i'm not a doctor dietitian nutritionist but i'm assuming you eat better you live longer the next one is having more protein so balancing your my meal so when i plate my meal i like to make um veggies protein um and carbs and like the more veggies and more protein than carbohydrates i also have my carbohydrates some people are like you can't eat bread you can't eat rice no you can but everything in moderation. I'm gonna share the most important thing that helped me after the next um, after the next two steps. So basically, if you want more protein, things like chicken, um, chicken, beef, seafood. Um, if you're not a vegetarian, like there's a lot of options, like maybe Greek yogurt. Next one is water hydration. Stay hydrated. Sometimes you're not even hungry. You're just full. I mean, sometimes you're not even hungry. You're just dehydrated which is something that it took me a while to process because me i love drinking coffee like i always go for coffee before i drink water but drink water throughout the day drink water when you go for a walk drink water when you wake up before you go to bed um like after your meal or before your meal whatever works for you and it will help get sleep okay so um sleep is gonna help in your journey um it's gonna take when you're sleep deprived you're putting your body under unnecessary stress get that rest that you need and it's just gonna you know it's the small things that you do the small habits it's the small things that you do and the small habits that add up don't see this as like a weight loss journey or a quick like a quick thing that you're gonna do see this as things that you can do to because you are you are the most important person to yourself you are the person that's going to look after yourself the most you are the person that is in control of your body and your strength and your abilities which is why get you some rest get some sleep because who doesn't like sleeping i'm so sorry but sleep sleep is so much fun okay now for the most important part um the thing that helped me the most with my journey and my weight loss is walking i am somebody that i love a good walk and i never used to go for a walk regularly and pe I, you know people go for hot girl walks name it whatever you want romanticize it and also enjoy the process i never really walked consistently now i've i've always liked walking i've always loved going for walks i've never walked consistently like when it's like every single day and i just want to clarify something i've said that what walking 10k every single day which usually takes me about like an hour an hour and 20 minutes i'm a slow walker walking a little bit every single day is what is going to help and the consistency i'm not just walking like one walking one day of the week is better than walking every single day but i've noticed when i've seen results and the results have stuck when the weight started going down is when i started walking consistently and the times like if i don't walk for like a couple of weeks i've noticed that i don't really make um, progress and the thing about progress is it's not going to be overnight it's going to be very very gradual and like sometimes i'll be honest okay like i'd step on the scale like the one day after the gym and i'm like you guys no literally nobody can see me i'm transparent okay 
I could turn to the side and disappear right now that's literally how i feel after one workout i haven't yet incorporated the gym which is something i'm gonna do i'll go through well, we'll go through the process together of becoming a gym babe my why is the reason why i wanted to start working out is because i want to be a gym babe i want to be active i feel like at any age your health is your wealth um we want to be rich babes let me just be honest but um what was I gonna say? I was so off track. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So I had some questions about how many steps a day I walk, and sometimes I might do like 15k steps. The next day I might do 3k steps. The next day I might do 5k. The next day I might do 7k. It doesn't have to be consistent. 10k, 10k, 10k. Although it is good to have a goal and aim for that goal. Maybe like you know, walking for an hour, walking for like. 40 minutes every day walking for 45 minutes every single day which is good but it's not really realistic that you're like you might not always have the time you might not always have the energy you might you you might just not feel like walking so sometimes like if you don't feel like walking and you walk 2k steps you tell yourself okay i'm gonna walk for 15 minutes um these are basically tips that help me so for example you know you've got 15 minutes you're not really doing anything you're scrolling on your phone scroll on your phone while you walk for 15 minutes you're watching youtube videos for 15 minutes 10 15 minutes watch youtube videos while you go for like a 10 minute walk and then do t different 10 minute walks th throughout the day if you're someone that doesn't really feel like committing to walking for an hour and you get bored of walking also maybe find an exercise that works for you generally staying active in any sense is going to be beneficial to you being disciplined also transfers into other areas of your life um i feel like being disciplined through committing to um exercising committing to what i'm eating it kind of trans dis it kind of um has a ripple effect to other areas of your life but that is not to say that it is easy it's so easy in a sense where like you know what you need to do you know if you eat healthy and you work out you know what you have to do you just really have to get to it okay so i'm gonna tell you right now you can do it and for a while i really feel like like just before i st like i never really felt like i want to commit to losing weight i just felt like you know i'm a girl i like to eat and when i initially started losing weight i didn't actually intend to lose weight but then as i did i was like kind of like huh so it was really that simple in a sense where doing small things every single day not looking worrying about the scale or like how much you weigh or being like a specific weight is the key just do it for yourself and because this is something you're going to do for the rest of your life because otherwise you're going to gain the weight back which is normal okay gain weight lose weight weight fluctuates and um, another thing is like throughout the month like if you're someone who does want to record your weight or see how much you weigh or things like that that's okay because some people are with the numbers okay um i would say don't weigh yourself every single day and also give yourself grace like f one thing i've noticed is maybe like around that time of the month i'm more bloated um and i eat like to eat more so i might gain a little bit more weight as a, like a couple weeks go on the weight might go a bit down like throughout the month the weight is going to fluctuate so don't beat yourself up about it you know it's really not that serious it's really not that serious so yeah if you would like more videos like this and me going into a bit more detail i have tried to keep things like very very short and sweet and brief you don't want to be sat here for 45 minutes when i can just get to the point so if you have enjoyed this video subscribe because i would really appreciate it like there's so many of you guys like i know before i made youtube i actually never had an account so i just used to watch youtube without subscribing but as somebody who creates content like, i would really appreciate if you could subscribe yeah log into your google account and subscribe and also like this video because liking this video is another thing like as a creator i would really appreciate if you like the video and if you didn't like it anyway and also leave a comment that's another thing i'd really appreciate let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see if you guys would like to see more daily vlogs what i like to eat what i like to cook and hopefully in the near future gym routines subscribe and yeah i hope that you guys are all well i hope that you guys are all in the best of health i hope that you guys are healthy i hope that you guys are wishing you guys happiness may allah grant you all happiness may allah grant you all like ease may allah grant you all success may allah grant you all peace 
we are now brought you all peace of mind i've had my coffee this whole time and i have not even drank it so yeah i'm gonna drink my coffee and i'll see you guys i mean 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 and i'll see you guys in my next video okay bye